So, according to the last weather drop, the phone picked up, which was three hours ago, so it was like four o'clock or whatever. Um, it is supposed to rain tomorrow morning, like starting around 6 a.m. Crap. Um, and it's going to be in the 60s, so it's going to be cold and wet. Um, we're going to still camp, but we're probably going to break camp at like 5 a.m. Hit the road, get out of here. We got to get, we got to get out of, off this road before it starts raining because that road will be a hot mess if it's wet. And then, um, as long as we can get out to the, um, highway before it starts raining, we should be okay. Um, worst case scenario, I'll have to stop in Hagerstown. I can't believe this. I didn't bring my rain gear. Let me think about this. All right. We aborted the mission because the forecast is for rain early in the morning and I don't want to be stuck down in here trying to ride something this technical I really don't want to ride it in the dark it's already getting dark so hopefully I can get to the paved part of the road in the next 10 or 15 minutes. But, um, I definitely don't want to try to get out of here in the rain tomorrow morning. That's just pressing my luck. I mean, I pressed my luck already riding through this about, this is the third, fourth time or whatever. But on these street tires, it'll be just straight hazardous trying to ride this road in the, in the rain. And, you know, I probably would get up early enough that I could leave a couple of hours ahead and beat the rain but then I'm still riding home in the rain on the highway which it's not as bad but it'll be cold and I didn't bring rain gear which I thought about it I just chose to travel lighter yeah I um I just don't want to try to do this in the mud. I don't even know what this video is going to turn out like. I'm probably not going to record this whole thing. I'm just going to let the battery die out. Fuck it. Um, yeah, I'm just really hoping I can get to the road before dark, which would be good. And if I don't, yeah, I, I don't, like I said, I don't mind coming out of here in the dark. Um, as long as no deer jump out, I should be okay. Yeah, if I can get a good five, ten minutes of this, it's more good B-roll for 
riding in the dark. This won't be the first time. It won't be the last. I don't know how I missed the freaking rain report. It wasn't supposed to rain tomorrow. It definitely wasn't. Well, I, actually, I knew it was going to rain tomorrow. I didn't think it was going to be raining at 5, 6 a.m. I thought it was going to rain like around 10 or something. Well, I am further west. So that's part of it. And the biggest concern really is to just get out of the dirt, get off the dirt while I still have a little bit of light. It's only 8 o'clock. I'm headed to um, I'll grab a some caffeine or something for the ride back. But this is fun. I give you that. It's a fun as trip. I'll tell you one thing that's happening. The um distance to the store time wise is going up. It's not going down. I think I might have picked up a signal because I'm up on this ridge so it recalibrated which means that my um, message I sent to Mrs. Rocket probably got out so she'll know that I'm coming home I don't know where my keys are crap We're already well over 250 miles on the day and a lot of that's highway so but it's a lot of it's this too it's real cloudy some of you just came through here I guess this is dust it's not smoke somebody just came through here yep there they are Let me close this. Crap. Because I'm eating dirt. Oh, this sucks. And it's fogging up. Got to choose between the fogging up and eating the dirt. I'll just eat dirt. Got me dirt. Dirt don't hurt. But you know what? I'm having fun. This was great. Absolutely stellar. This is classic Marcus bullshit. Yeah, Rockets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic Marcus bullshit. Flaking out. Doing it the hard way. But the fun way. I never would have been able to get out of here in the morning. All of this wet. Now I'm I'm pretty good about looking up ahead when I ride. Y'all might notice that a lot of times some of the stuff I call out, like the deer and the vultures and all of that. I don't even when I go back and look at the video, you can't even see it on the video. But um, that's the thing I don't like with this is that I can't see up ahead and then like the high beam actually the dust is glaring back at me so I can't really see the road as well with the high beam so gotta go with the low beam I kind of can I know what's happening in terms of the curvature and stuff because I can see the truck up ahead um, I'm glad I didn't have to go out on Carol Carol would have been a hot ass mess right now. Yeah, buddy. 
I don't know how to, this probably isn't even going to turn out that, that great on the video footage. Um, well, let's see. Let's see if any of it is useful. So Parallel Twin is grinding. I love this engine. It is a workhorse engine. Stop. What the heck? Did none of that get recorded? You gotta be kidding. I didn't record any of that. Ain't this some crap? I'm not going back around the block yet. Let me play with this first. <laughs> 